Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up WSS server on Azure. So simply from the link in the description box, come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to deploy a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now to do that, simply click on this button that says get it now. After that click on continue. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you need to simply click on create. And then you would be brought to this customization page from where you need to choose the subscription, choose a resource group and provide your virtual machine with a name. So I'm just going to call this one as WSS. After that, choose a zone or region where you want to deploy this virtual machine. Once that is done, scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then you can choose the security type according to your requirements and the size of the virtual machine according to your requirements as well. After that, you want to create an administrator account for the Windows server that is going to be installed in your virtual machine. Remember that these credentials are the same ones that we will be using to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Once that is done, simply scroll to the very bottom and click on this button that says review plus create. Now doing this will actually initiate a validation process. So you need to wait for the validation process to fully complete. Now once the validation process is done, simply click on the create button to actually start the creation of this virtual machine. Now once the virtual machine has been successfully deployed, the next step is to connect to it using an RDP connection. Now for that, simply click on this option that says go to resource. Now this is going to bring you to the overview of your virtual machine. Now from the overview, you are going to simply click on this connect option and then from the drop down menu choose RDP, which is a remote desktop protocol. Now from here, what you can do is you can take the IP address and then form a connection. But what I like to do is simply click on this option to download the RDP file. And once that file is opened, click on it. And this is going to open up a remote desktop connection. Then simply click on the connect option. You will be provided to give your credentials. So click on more choices, use a different account and then the administrator account that you had created during the configuration of this virtual machine. Once that is done, simply click on the OK button and click on accept for the final dialog box and then wait for the connection to be fully established with the virtual machine. Now once you are connected to your virtual machine, from the desktop simply open up Windows Server Update Services. Now this is going to ask you for the content storage path. So simply click on store updates locally and then provide the directory path as C colon backslash then just name a folder as WSUS. Once that is done, simply click on the run button. Now once the post installation is successful, simply click on the close button to actually launch the WSUS administration console. Now for the before you begin page, simply click on next to move on to the next page and then you can join the Microsoft update program, but it's your choice. Now for the choosing upstream server, you can either go for the Microsoft update or to synchronize from another Windows server update service. Anyways, I'm going to go with the synchronize from Microsoft update option. And the next step is about proxy. So if you have a proxy running, you can choose that proxy as well. But if you do not have that proxy running, then you can leave it as default and then click on the next option. After that, simply press on the start connecting button. Now, once it has connected to the upstream, simply click on the next option. After that, you have the option to download languages. So I'm just going to choose English for now. It is selected right over here. After that, select the next button. So the next step is to choose the products that you want to update. Ideally, you want to update all of the products, but the, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to choose Bing. Anyways, after choosing the products that you want to update, simply click on the next button. After that, you have the classifications that you want to go with. Ideally, you want to go with critical updates, definition updates, security updates, and then simply upgrades. Once that is done, simply click on the next button and then you will be able to configure your sync schedule. I'm going to leave it as synchronize manually and then click on the next option. After that, simply select this option which is begin initial synchronization with the Microsoft update server and then click on the next option. Once everything is done, simply click on the finish button and you are done setting up your WSS server. Now you can start using your update service. However, if this Windows Server Update Service does not open up by its own, what you can do is you can simply double click on it from the desktop. It would be the same exact thing. And that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, then make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Azure for this particular WSS server and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide which explains all of this tutorial in a little more detail. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.